Alrighty, well hello there. Here we are in a new week. Monday, September 21st, I think, 2020. At 7.22 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we have a 27% moon. Still in the daytime sky. The sun hasn't set yet. Probably in a few minutes, but... Now with this view, I can actually see a couple spots on the screen here, so I might have dust on the sensor. It'll be the first time for me. <laughs> I'll try to do a clean later. I've never manually, physically cleaned the sensor before. Ugh. Let's hope just the uh, camera doing it will work out anyway. So. <laughs> After all that, there we go. That's a pretty good shot there. Let's head on around though. And see what else is on offer here. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I can get my hand set here to finally work. Come on. This is a brand new handset. Oh my gosh. Things are made so cheaply now nowadays. Alright. That just looked like a mouse to me. <laughs> a curled tail there. And check out the rest over here. All right, that's cool. Now, once again, we are on the Canon R8 camera with a Canon 800 millimeter lens and the 2X extender. And what we're seeing right at the moment is uh, the 5X focusing zoom. But I'll probably try to do a crop zoom in Final Cut Pro. It's really not worth it to do uh, the 30x. It just does not come in very well. Anyway, so if I'm going to do a crop zoom, let me take another stroll around. <laughs> yeah, it's not coming in too bad for being daylight out. It's pretty good. And go back down to our regular view here. 1600. Oh, those spots are irritating. <laughs> Let me try to get a clip of this. I'll be right back. Alrighty, there we go. Now, last night I was out taking pictures for maybe a good couple hours and nothing came out. <laughs> It was so disheartening. But then I was experimenting once again. So it's no wonder. I was trying to use a Tamron 18 to 400 lens and trying to shoot some nebulas and galaxies with it. And it's an APS-C lens, which I put on a full frame camera and just, oh my. I worked on the pictures I took for many many hours and it was just so disappointing and then I came out to try to get Mars it was after midnight and for some reason I could not get a good focus on it I mean I got footage but it was just way too disappointing so I don't know if there was still a lot of haze in the sky or not there is today so I have a feeling Jupiter and Saturn are going to come out as well as they did the uh, few nights back. Because what I can see by eye, the sky is mainly white. There is barely a hint of blue out there today. Anyway, so that's going to do it for now. And hopefully we'll be 
Well, hello there. <laughs> and hopefully we'll... Yeah, and hopefully we'll be back out for a couple planets. But like I said, I don't know how well things are gonna go, so. <laughs> it's hit and miss. Anyway, it's now 7.30 p.m. up here. All right, y'all take care. Bye for now. Alrighty, there we go. We're back out. Whoa, I saw that flash there. Down below the uh, furthest planet out on the right-hand side. Down below it. That was cool. But tonight we can see the formation. I didn't check before I came out to see who was where. But <laughs> there they are. And we're going to change up so we can have a look-see at Jupiter. Yeah, it looks kind of blurry tonight. I'm not sure if that's more from... Hmm, I don't know. I'll get a clip, but it's not going to be... It's not going to come out very well with the aligning and stacking. But we'll try anyway. Yeah, it kind of looks like it's not in focus, but it is. So it's got to be the haze. All right, and let's uh, travel on over to Saturn over to our left. And as usual, my tripod is crooked. As we see, it's still slewing back and forth. <laughs> At least it got in the general direction. Okay, it's a bit tough to see, but Titan has moved from where it was the other night. The other night it was around the 9 o'clock position, and right now it's about, oh, about the 8 o'clock. But anyway. All right, there we go, with another hazy one. Yet our 30X looks really, really bad. So we'll just go back to the 5X so I can do a crop zoom. That'll look better, I think. <laughs> All right, the way the planets are coming out, I'm not gonna bother to come back out in a few hours for Mars. I'll just be too disappointed with the quality of the footage. I know me. <laughs> so, I hope it'll be nicer out your way. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up. It's now 8.05 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. You all take care and have a great new week ahead here. Bye now. Alrighty, there we go. We have the wide angle lens on here now. The Tamron 35 to 150, f2.8 to 4. And I just want to get some footage of the wider field of view so we can see where that crescent is. Okay, I'm not sure, but now that I changed lenses, those two dust specks seem to be gone. But I'm not going to know for sure until I put that other lens on here. Yeah, our sky is a whitish gray. Not very pretty. Let's try to get the size of the moon for what I see by eye. Alright, so that's a 1080p cropped. And that's more in line about the size that I see it. Sort of, kind of. And again, we are at the 150. A 4 one sixtieth. I says at 320. Alrighty, I think it's time for some pictures. It's now 8.18 p.m. up here. Y'all take care now. Bye from Ohio.